so we continue our discussion with the finding candidate keys i hope you have already done all these questions as i already requested you in the previous videos just in case you have till now not done these questions i would request you to pause this video and try these remaining questions and see if you are uh, able to find all the candidate keys correctly so i'll go about uh, moving forward and doing these questions for you so uh, what would be the close uh, so for this I, question four. I start. What would be the closure of A? A itself and A also gives me B, C. So I include B and C in the closure set. From A, B, C, what can I get? From B, I can uh, yeah. From B, I can get D also. So I include D in this, right? From C, D, I can get E. So I include E, right? A, B, C, D, E. So I have all these attributes, right? So a is surely a candidate key so i in uh, the approach would i would still recommend you to approach it in this way i mean now that you have practiced three questions already i would request you not to go about finding the closure for all these why i am telling you this is because you have to same time in your gate exam so what what the quickest approach is just to get the first candidate key and then apply the replacement uh, uh, tactics I told you that find this uh, on the RHS of the given functional dependencies. So if if you wish to find the closure, you can go ahead. There is no harm. But if you uh, once you get more practice, you will be directly able to do these questions uh, just by finding the first candidate key and then going about finding all other candidate keys using this. So I use the same property. So what do I, what did I tell you? Uh, I I search for A on the RHS, so I find this here. So what what should I do? I should replace A by E, right? So I include E in the candidate keys. Now what A I have already searched on the RHS. Now I should search for E on the RHS, right? So here I find E. So my candidate key would be C D, right? Similarly, I have searched for uh, C D. Uh, first I search for C on the RHS right so I can I, I find this here so what what does it say that I can replace C by A so this C to be replaced by this A so what does this become this becomes A D right but again the same the same fourth step what I have been reiterating often that now although our rule says that this is a candidate key but again you can see that a is a candidate key and how can you say that a d is also a candidate key it won't be minimal right so we cannot include this in the candidate keys so we remove it right so now what what do i search on the rhs i search for d on the rhs right so what what do i find uh, b right so i would replace d by b so if i replace d by b this becomes cb right uh, okay now uh, i search for uh, i've already searched for uh, b on the rhs right so i don't i don't remember if i search for b on the rhs so let us just uh, let me just take it again so if i search for b on the rhs i find it here i will replace b by a right so this uh, becomes uh, ac right but again the, the, it is again not minimal right because it contains a itself then what is the need of c so this again is not minimal and uh, that's it i mean these are the uh, four candidate keys you you will have for this question right so this is how you approach it i mean I, I am kind of increasing the speed a bit because now you have already done three questions just in case you are still not getting it uh, try to make sure that you uh, understand rest of the questions correctly okay so this is question five now this, this uh, question has certain um, is somewhat has a as a kind of it is simple right but it again you can say it has a trick for you to understand so 
अगेन आई स्टार्ट माई अप्रोच विद दी सेम वे आई ट्राई टू फाइंड एज क्लोजर वट वुड बी एज क्लोजर ए इट सेल्फ राइट फ्रॉम ए आई कैन गेट बी सो आई इंक्लूड बी फ्रॉम बी आई कैन गेट सी सो आई इंक्लूड सी फ्रॉम सी आई कैन गेट डी सो आई इंक्लूड डी राइट सो नाउ नो दिस लुक्स काइंड ऑफ दैट ए इज अ कैंडिडेट की बिकॉज इट हैज ऑल दी I mean A, B, C, D are given in the functional dependencies and <coughs> A can determine A, B, C, D all. But you have to make if you have to make sure that all the attributes given are are uh, covered by this. Hey. Right? E is never uh, E is not given in uh, the functional dependencies. So you you need to include E in the candidate key as it is. Right? Because what we what our definition of candidate key is that it should be able to determine uh, uh, each and every attribute but here it is determining each and every attribute of the given functional dependencies that does not mean that if e or e f g h i are not given then we are not supposed to cover them we have to cover all the attributes given in the relation so that is why uh a is a candidate key but a has to uh, include e in itself and this is again a point since e is not here in any of the functional dependencies so whatever your candidate keys will come everyone will include e right okay so uh, again how do i proceed in this uh, i take the same approach i won't take the closures for all again i i want you to learn this approach because this is much faster so i search for i cannot search for e on the rhs as you can see but i can search for a on the rhs right so what do i do i uh, i can replace a by d right so this become d e okay again i search for d on the rhs i get this okay so uh, what 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 i do i replace d by c and this become c again next step i search for c on the rhs i find this so what do i do i replace c by b so this becomes b e now next step i search for uh, b on the rhs right so what do i find a so this becomes a e but it is itself here so no need to uh, include it again so these are the four candidate keys you have again i would like to mention that the new concept was that this a uh, sorry this e was e was not given in fd that does not mean i mean that does not mean that uh, if if uh, it, it does not have it i mean you can get it so so we move across to our next question so this is our uh, our last question actually so even if you are not even if you are not you were not getting it till here so make sure you you try to understand this question so again i do the same approach i go with a as closure what would be as closure a itself from a i can get bc so i include bc right and from bc i can get def right so i have i think all these a b c d e f e yep so a is my candidate key now again i i take the faster approach i won't go about finding the closures i would just start searching for a on the rhs i find it here so i just replace a by b c right okay now what what would be my next approach uh, i i will search for b on the rhs right so b b is here so i can replace b by a so this becomes ac but again the same 
the same important property that this is not minimal because a itself is a candidate key then how can a c be a candidate key right so we cannot include this what would be my uh, next step i again search for c on the rhs so where c on the rhs again here c is on the rhs so what, what do i do i replace c by a so this becomes b a right but again you cannot include this why because again a is a candidate key and this is not minimal hence you cannot include this now there is nothing left to search for uh, on the rhs right so these are the only two candidate keys you have for this question right so i hope you uh, in the course of these six or seven examples you are clear with the concepts of finding candidate key and just to uh, just to make sure that what what happened in the in this question was e was not given in the functional dependency set but uh, our candidate key should be such that it could it should uh, able it should be able to determine each and every attribute therefore e had to be included in all these candidate keys that was the uh, main uh, concept behind this question right so i hope you understand all this i'll try to publish a summary uh, summary video for all these three lectures which which i have made for candidate keys just to make sure that you are done with all this okay thank you guys